Hello, welcome to the second um, video about our ghost story, um, which we were writing about the Cheam War Memorial. Um, if you remember the first video um, we did, we sort of we did a, a spider diagram, and we planned and we made out of a spider diagram of what, where, when, who, etc. Mm -hmm. We made a linear plan of what the story was going to be about, um, and this was the linear plan we came up with. This is the second video. The second video we're going to talk about starting the story, so doing the first lines um, of the story and how to get your, your ideas down at the beginning, which is always a really hard bit, getting rid of the blank page. In the next video, the third one, we're going to do editing. But for now, we're going to use our plan to make a start on a story. So, I shall remind you what we came up with for the story. Peter, a year six, it's summer, now, 2020, he's walking past the Cheam War Memorial. He sees a young woman. He says she looks unhappy, maybe. Um, he says, are you okay? And she says she's looking for her soldier, who was her boyfriend. Um, immediately, um, Peter thinks this is, this is strange. And then he gets ideas that she might be a ghost. So that's the, where things sort of twist in the story. He asks her what her name was, and she says Arthur Sutton, and Peter shows her the name on the war memorial, um, and then she disappears, and then Peter's gran tells him that she appears every 23rd of June, and he was he was lucky, or not lucky, to see her, um, and then he waits for the next 23rd of June to see if she appears again, maybe. It's, I think this, is, this story, the plot needs a bit of work, but that's what we came up with, what I came up with um, last time. So, we want to turn that into a story. We want to start it, but we want to make it so it's interesting to your to your readers. So you need to, we need to think about um, why. How will it be interesting? Well, I suppose well, one of the things is we need to we need to care about our character, don't we? We need to care how our character's getting on. Um, if I make that bigger, if I make that a bit bigger. We need to care. Um, do we need fear? Do we need to be scared because of the ghost? Um, and do we need to, we need to know what's next, what's happening next. So if we can, when we write this, using this plan, we need to get those three things and tick them off. And if we've managed to do those three things in, in the first couple of, um, couple of paragraphs, then, then that should be, that could be, um, the start of a good story, right? So we've got our idea for the story. We need to break it down. We can't write it all on here. So let's break it down. Um, so he, the begin. I suppose the beginning is that, isn't it? Where Peter is at the memorial, he sees a young woman. Then the second part is her having a conversation with him. Um, I mean, that, I suppose that goes all the way down to there, but you can break it in two. So it's good to break a story into chunks, then it makes it less scary that you've got so much to write about. Um, then um, he has this conversation with his gran and then the next year he goes back. So it's kind of broken into one, two, three, four, five sections. But we're gonna try and write the first section now. Um, I'm just gonna get my other, my other pen. So, um, so we're going to write the first section. So we need to make it, we need to remember these things. So I suppose we should just, sometimes it's good just to say what's happening. What is happening? So what is happening? Um, and remember, this is a story we're writing. You've probably chosen a different history. Like we talked about non such palace. We talked about the Roman road. And we talked about highwaymen as well. So you may have chosen one of them. So this is just me giving an example of one of the um, one of the stories you could write and showing you how I do it. So what's happening? Peter is walking along the road past Cheemwall Memorial um, and he sees a young woman. Let's start it. Let's start it like that. Let's try he hang on. He saw her. He saw her mm, I don't know. Have I messed it up already? He saw her. No, I'm going to start again. He had never seen her before. He had never seen her before. That's interesting, isn't it? Hopefully. He had never 
scene. You've got to make it, I suppose if you make it mysterious and you get the reader to ask questions, that's a good way in. That's another good one to tick off. Um, he had never seen her here, there, there before. He had never seen her there before. The woman. Let's describe her. So that's a mystery. Who is she? Who is she? So we said, yeah, and we'll go back and edit this. Remember, in the next session, we're going to go back and edit it. And there's already lots that need editing. He had never seen her there before, the woman. She was pale, wearing, what would she be wearing? Wearing a blue dress. Yeah. So we've never seen her there before, the woman. She was wearing a pale, she was wearing, she was pale, wearing a blue dress. Um, and then sitting, then we need to put, then we need to put, so we need to put that in. Let's change it to Peter, then we've ticked that off. So Peter, so you see how we're ticking all the things off. So Peter, um, the team one and more of the young woman, um, we need to add it to summer in a minute. Peter had never seen her there before, the woman. She was wearing, pale, wearing a blue dress, sitting at the foot of the war memorial. Now, should we add something spooky now? We wanted to add a ghostly thing. So we could say, um, we could say there was something, how about there? We can always change this, as we know, there was something about her. Almost, should we say almost like she wasn't there? We can always change it. Almost like she wasn't really there. And, and what is she, what do we, she's there, she's looking for a boyfriend, so maybe she's sad. Maybe she's sad, so let's put, and she was crying. And what do you do when someone's crying? You ask, are you all right, don't you? That's the first thing you'd say. And she was crying. Although, because this is a story, you have to think about this when you're writing, especially with children. Do you, should children go up to adults and say, oh, are you all right, um, if they're crying? I'll leave that one with your teachers, but it's definitely something worth discussing, because you have to think, is this real life, is that fiction? What's the right thing to do? But I'll leave that for your teachers or parents to discuss with you. Um, there was something about her, almost like she wasn't really there, and she was crying. In this, in this case, Peter's going to say, are you okay? Are you okay? Peter asked. Asked? Maybe we could come back and change that. Are you okay? So we've got that. So we've done, we've not mentioned it's summer, so we'll try and bring that into it. But what have we done? So let's have a look. Let's read it and see if we passed the four things that we wanted to put in the story. So we've used our structure of the plan, which we've been using all along, and now we've got these tick boxes. So I want you to ask, while I'm reading this, I want you to ask, do you care? Do you fear? What's next? Do you want to know what's happening next? And is it a mystery? Right. Peter had never seen her there before, the woman. She was pale, wearing a blue dress, sitting at the foot of the war memorial. There was something about her, almost like she wasn't really there. And she was crying. You okay? Peter asked. That, that, that captures a lot of what we wanted there. Does it capture what we wanted here? These little checklists, either side, when you're writing, are really useful because you can make sure you get into your story what you want to get into your story. Do you care? I care. I care. I care about the woman. Is she all right? She's crying. So I care. Do I fear? Probably not. Not yet. Do you? It's a bit spooky, but maybe not spooky enough. What is going to happen next? I certainly want to know what's going to happen next because when you've got a question mark in a story, you're laughing because that's that's like, I want to know the answer. You set a question in your story, the reader wants to know the answer. So we've definitely done the what next. And the mystery, the sense of what's going on, I don't know what's going on, that's definitely there. Um, so we've done three out of four, ain't bad, is it? So um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to check through that to make sure we're happy with it and then 
I'm going to ask you to write your own story. But just, just, just to remind you, just to reiterate, if you use your original plan and put it down the side of the piece of paper, and if you set yourself some targets as to what a good opening to a story wants, caring, fearing, wanting to know what's happening next, a bit of mystery, you can check them off and, and make sure you're reaching the, the um, not reaching, make sure you're interesting the reader enough to want to read more because this first bit how much have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 60 words ish 60 words ish you want your reader to want to read the next three four hundred words not just the first 60 you've got to hold them and grab them and pull them in let's read it and see if it's any good and obviously there's a lot we can do with it but is it a decent start peter had never seen her there before the woman she was pale, wearing a blue dress, sitting at the foot of the war memorial. There was something about her, almost like she wasn't really there. And she was crying. You okay? Peter asked. Right, so I think we've got something there. So, so in the next session, we're going to edit that and make it stronger. And we're going to use a technique I use to make it strong, to, to edit, to make edit, editing hopefully a bit easier. Um, Editing's really important. If you write something, you're going to go now and write something. I'm going to ask you to go and write your story using this that we did together or your own story that you've planned. And we're going to, then we'll come back and we'll edit it. But for you, I'd like you to go first of all and write your story. You could start, you could just write the first bit and then watch the next film that I've done where we do the editing. Or you could try and write the whole thing of your story. Um, think that is it for now so that that's it so so that's your challenge go off you go and write your story um and don't worry if there's bits of it that that you don't like i'm going to show you here there's bits of this i don't like um i i don't like this bit um i don't like the way that sentence flows after that sentence I think we need to know about the summer. There's loads of things that we're going to improve. Anyway, good luck with your writing. And um, so that's the end of video two out of three to do with the ghost story in your local area. And the next video we'll be doing editing. Thank you for watching.